So I would say 98% of the people who come in here, they want to be in a safe place. So they are, they cooperate. Um, I think it's more out in the community. People aren't aware. I have neighbors who aren't. Healthcare workers are sharing their stories in a special video series by the San Diego Union Tribune called Frontline Voices. Joining me, joining me to talk about it is Union Tribune reporter Paul Sisson. Paul, you've been covering the pandemic closely, and these are stories about the cost paid by our healthcare workers. What is the level of frustration in them as we go through another massive surge? Gosh, you know, it's intense. Um... The feeling I think out there on the front lines that I, that I witnessed, I mean, this was in December, of course, but people feel frustrated that a little, maybe, you know, maybe even a little betrayal that, uh, that, that people just aren't taking this seriously, even as they enter these rooms with infected patients and literally put their own safety risk. Do they blame anyone or anything? You know, if you go on social media, you see a lot of people who are playing the pandemic down. That has got to be a sore point with these people. Yeah, I mean, they, uh, you know, they, they go home at the end of their shift and they, uh, you know, they see the, uh, the, the folks out, uh, you know, wherever they are in the community, they, you know, they see all of this and, and you know, that they go on social media, they, uh, they say that they're often getting reactions that are, you know, sometimes calling them liars, uh, you know, and so that really um, seems to really weigh on their, their minds as they come back to work the next day being emotionally and physically exhausted and then being told they're liars. That has got to be hurtful. Are, are many of them nearing a breaking point? You know, I mean, I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a psychiatrist, so I, you know, I don't know that I'm really qualified to say whether, whether they're nearing the breaking point, uh, but many of them say they are very, very tired. Uh, and I think if you look at this video series and you look in people's eyes, uh, you see a lot of uh, tired eyes looking back at you, you know, often through goggles or glasses, uh, all behind masks um, and, and you know and that's what people have said to me is you know watching these uh, what I'm captivated by is just to look in people's eyes and Paul what are they saying about county and state leadership in this pandemic we know there are areas of frustration for us in the media about getting information or seemingly conflicting directives how do they see it uh, you know I think that they tend to be relatively focused on their own world in an ICU or an ER, and I, I, don't, I don't get, uh, you know, a lot of um, feedback uh, from them on the higher level uh, political decisions. I think they're mostly concerned that they have what they need to do their jobs. Uh, you know, and, and the folks on the front lines seem to say that they have the PPE uh, and the other protective equipment that they need. I, I think really where they're concerned and what we've heard a lot lately is just the staffing issue. A lot are picking up extra shifts, uh, you know, and, and these are 12 hour shifts. So they're, they're quite grueling compared to what, you know, probably the average person would experience in their job. So, you know, that, you know, generally they work uh, three shifts on and four shifts off in a normal time. And, and so bringing in more shifts and more shifts and more shifts, that just really starts to build up over time. And, you know, I think they've already been going for 10 months. So, so it really just creates, uh, you know, a, a background level of weariness that, uh, that kind of overwhelms whatever is going on with the policy discussion. Paul Sisson has been covering the pandemic since the start. This video they put together, uh, you said you did it in December. You can watch that on the San Diego Union Tribune. It's about the frontline workers. Paul Sisson, thank you for your time today. We want to have people go to that, sandiegounion.com slash front-line-voices. Thanks for your time.